Hello, welcome everyone once again. Today in this session, I am going to explain you what is the product management. In just a previous one, I explain or we can say that we summarize what is the product management. In short or in one liner, we can say product management is actually the delivering the best product to customer or end user that they wish to be within the limit of cost because you know there are so many kind of the chairs in market there are so many kinds of bikes in the market there are so many cars in the market they are with different different cost and different different facilities so according to these criteria, they have very different kind of the audience. Revolving chair is different, executive chair, office chairs. There are varieties of chair. So all the chairs are called chair, but they are not exactly the same that the chair should. They have different, different features, different, different facilities and different, different rate even though all the chair having the four legs a few having three also i seen those but basically chairs have four legs identically but their cost their quality and features are different so how these changes happen means uh, you imagine that one product was launched by a company with the help of three to four people they feel that they did a wonderful job but when they bring that product in market they realize that people want that product but need some more facility as in uh, previous session i explained you that the mouse is one of the important uh, <clears throat> plug and play device for laptop desktop or even android television but why it has different different shapes why it's in a different different size it's all about the requirement of the people people want in a different different size people want in a low bit high bit medium bit people want it some classic some uh, beautiful some cute so according to the audience they change the look and feel of a device also they focus on the costing because suppose you uh, made a product that full of the features but its cost is not so high and you start selling so in this way you will not recover the costing of the device development how will you give bonus how will you give other benefit to your team that works under your instruction and if you keep the cost very high then also you have very limited audience because everyone is not able to buy high costing product or devices this means you need to have different variant of your product as yesterday or we can see in my previous lecture i explain you different variant of the cars they have lxi vxi cxi different difference so why they did because they want to target each and every kind of the audience according to their wish and their choice I also explain you that there are four category of the person in the organization or we can see in the society, executive, uh, middle management, management and top management. They all having different mindset. They have different choices. So according to their choice, according to their requirement, we have to make the variant of a particular product so that we can target all and before a year ago, there were no such kind of the management. 
there is was management but not a product management that mainly focus toward the individual product people were keen about the organization people were manage the organization people were manage the entire functionality of an organization but recent years individual product needs an attention and just because of that product management came in the light now this is the time that we keep keen focus toward individual product we understand the choice of user we understand requirement of the society we understand what exactly people needs so these all become the part of product management and here the product manager play a vital role the product manager is the voice of end user but the product manager should be positive as i uh, explained you in my previous lecture that if you your company is going to make a fruit juicer and your product manager is full of negativity then they will not appreciate your new product they will demolize it like saying what is the use of this product when there is no electricity but if a positive mannered product manager will give you an idea to enhance one more feature that might be a user required because when you are making a juice with the help of some fruits half part you done half is remaining your fruits inside that machine and suddenly electricity gone then neither you are in the condition to enjoy the fruit neither you are in situation to enjoy the fruit juice in that time if we have some manual features manual functionality then it is the enhanced product i seen one uh, electric scooter in uh, in a country that electric scooter do not have kick it has only a button push button with the help of that you can start your scooter one day due to some issues that start button was not working and now the person have no option to start that scooter it is not the problem only in the electric scooter but also the uh, scooters or bike those are running with the fuels because if there is no manual feature then suddenly one process is stopped then what do we have another option if we not have option then we are helpless that's because a good product manager always prefer some manual things so that in suddenly if one process collapse then the user should not be helpless they have some some facility some point to of action in most of the bikes you see that there is a reserve in their petrol tank that after that your petrol tank uh, will uh, empty according to the Uh, by cognition but it has some feature so that you have in a petrol to reach any petrol pump but this feature is not available in the car why because the product manager of both the vehicles know that which one is more careful and which one is less careful by corner is not so much careful about the fuel tank because the person know we can get help from the outside if i am not getting the help then i can drag my bike but it is not easy to do this because sometime if there is no facility around 2 or 3 km then what so the initially that facility was not there but people are suffered 
then people start saying that there should be a feature so that we get an intimation that yes, your fuel tank is empty. Now it is the time to fill. But the car owner is always try to fill their tank timely. And this is the difference. So when they bring these kind of the features, when the customer or the end user is raised their coin. Helmet is one of the biggest product in the world. But do you know, helmet came in the existence after a long time of the uh, innovation of bike. So these all are the products came in the market according to the requirement of user. Without user requirement, there is no need of a product. You can imagine, you can uh, check on Google, vehicles, car, those were introduced initially by so many companies. You can see their interior. You can see their lights. You can see their tires. You can see their steering. You can see their look and feel. You will find till that time, everything changed drastically. But have you ever asked why they did so? There were no any music system earlier in the car. There were no any air conditioner in the car, but timely, it was there because of the requirement. So someone become very keen about the individual product and they realize that without these kind of the changes, we cannot survive in the market. And we also have limits about the cost. We cannot rise our costing according to the facilities. We give one, two, three, and four. So in the product management, there are some very interesting points that a product manager must have. In previous session, I explained you that talking less, listening more. Because as much as a product manager listen, will understand the requirement and limitation. Product manager should have conversation with salesperson also, with customer support team also, that what exactly end user want to say, what kind of the feedbacks their product is getting. So if product manager always defend their product, the product will not be surviving market. Because so many companies, you can imagine like uh, 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 Blackberry and iPhone both were on the same reputation in the mobile market before uh, 10 years or 12 years ago. But now iPhone is surviving very much while blackberry is not so it's different case study that why blackberry outdated or removed from the market but exactly they are not given too much focus about the individual product there are so many kind of the messenger in the market but they not change their product manager always defending the product no, this is fine. No, this is best. This is much like this. The outdated. So concept is this. The product manager should utilize their both the ears to hear. Don't think that I hear from this ear and extract from that. No, this is not the good, good quality of a product. Product manager should not here only the customer and you, but also here the team members so that they can evaluate the limitation features and cost. Mm -hmm. Suppose there is a product A and customer want 10 features, but not willing to pay as much as the 
company need to implement these all the features so what a product manager should do product manager can decide that okay we bring four variant in market in variant 1 we uh, add these three more features in the variant 2 we implement around six feature and in the variant third we add 10 variant according to these features the costing be so whoever want 10 features can buy the uh, three number of product some less then they decide according to their requirement but this is not possible for any organization to implement all the 10 feature in a single product because all the users are not required 10 features as well as they are not love to pay as much amount that the product that enabled with 10 features that's because we bring query so product manager should listen more keep your focus on end user ultimately in my previous session i also told told that end user is the final judge so you should open a platform where your end user can update you they can share their feedbacks they can give you reviews about the product and even if you are going to launch a new product then you can offer some uh, something in response of their feedback and reviews but they should be honest means you can give that uh, you can select the criteria the honest and correct right reviews that innovate us will reward it it doesn't mean that anyone come nice product good product good quality nice these are not the review and feedback you should focus that your review given us any innovative idea then you will be rewarded then people will start think that oh i need to go in depth in this product and then we need to share our comment feed reviews button because after their reviews if you are not get any kind of the ideas or innovation then these reviews are useless that's because you innovate them according to your product keep continuous learning approach definitely you need to review the market you need to see your competitors also i am not saying that always see but yes you should keep their products also in mind Uh, because so many times it happened that uh, any innovative idea your competitor has and you were thinking also about that particular idea and you find that that idea was completely failed now you have two options you drop your idea or you need to learn that why this idea get failed where was the problem because because it is totally depend on you that how you take the uh, things if one idea is failed that you also thinking about you find okay it is failed so you can drop so it will not be success second opinion is this you will try to find out the real causes that why this idea got failed so that you can keep uh, those things eliminated from your idea implementation because you are not going to implement to get failure you want to do this to get success so keep this thing in mind so keep learning is one of the biggest thing that learning market is biggest opportunity to bring some innovation in your product reaching out to the customer as i told you that you should offer a platform 
where your end user can share their feedback, suggestions, ideas, and you personally take care of this. Don't don't give this opportunity to anyone else. As a product manager, you must take care of each and every reviews and and understand that what you can innovate with the help of these things. Because ultimate goal is to bring your product in high rank. So if your customer or end user having a uh, blameless platform, then they honestly share their reviews. Learn from the mistakes of others. This I already cover in keep continuous learning approach. So simply, uh, when you are open your mind to see your competitors, they are implementing new, new things and they are failure or success, whatever. So on the basis of their approach and reason of failure, you can create a case study. And on the basis of that, you can design your strategy to get success. Because without this, you cannot survive. Every time uh, your management will not allow you to experiment. Because experiment is a different situation where you can get success or failure. If you get success, then they will clap for you. And if you got failure, they slap immediately. So you need to learn from the other's mistake, mainly your company that they bring a product, they bring an innovative idea, and it's failed. So instead of focus on the failure, you focus on the things why they failed, and what you not need to do. There are tasks to do and tasks not to do. So you focus on not to do. Uh, I can explain you one more example, a real life example. One of my friend was working at different different companies. They spend around twenty years in the field of uh, marketing, and they seen uh, there are so much ups and down in the organizations. And ultimately, they open a company. And you know, uh, in front of the door, they add a photo, or we can the chart what things not to do to run a business most of the time you see a positive things to do to run a successful business but they written down things not to do if you want to run a business successful because they they know that why these organizations got collapsed why they failed where is the lack is the problem and they find and collect 20 points in their 20 years of the experience means they dedicate one experience for every year and share it with the colleagues so the person learned 20 new things from the 20 mistakes of the entrepreneurs so that's actually the point that learn from the mistakes of the other if you want to more you move your product upside be a janitor of the product definitely you are a product manager if it is successfully run in the market then you can give its credit to everyone your management your team your engineers your customer care executive your salesperson to everyone you can dedicate the success means you can enjoy the success with all of the team members. But unfortunately, if your product failed in market, then take its whole responsibility. It doesn't mean that you feel guilty. That, oh, my product was failed. I feel guilty. I'm in the depression. No, no, no. That's not required. You take the responsibility but you cross check where that problem come 
a sales person was not able to explain is the customer care executive was not able to entertain the queries of the client is the engineers made any mistake that come after two or three times use or if the production team design wrong thing that create a problem in the utility of course you take the responsibility of the product failure but you need to be very keen and concentrate to check where is the fault because as a product manager you did nothing to design and sell the product but whole soul responsibility is yours so this is the concern so many times when i uh, taking this kind of the lecture a student asks sir if we take the responsibility then there there is a guilty kind of the things that we start feeling so i i told them that this is the not time to feel guilty or go in the depression this is the time to more keen creative and aware that why this product is failed when we plan a very big so it is the circumstances that you need to do to bring a product in there are some models that utilized by uh, various product companies now let's start from here uh, the person gives their feedback it is approved means the feedback is positive for a product then we release in the market we are starting from here this is the last part but what if the feedback is negative with some comments with some suggestions with some improvement so what you need to do you need to record and incorporate the changes you need to collect the data that what kind of the feedbacks are come how many of these feedbacks we can implement or is there any need to create the variant on the basis of this feedback so you need to decide this when you decide it then adjust and track you start implement you start implement means you need some variant or need to modify the existing it's very easy it is total practical you imagine like a practical when a product is uh product okay one question you can ask that sir we have not release in market then who is giving us feedback yet you can see that client developer user but no <clears throat> before bringing any product in the market we uh, make this a testing phase where we give our that product to certain number of users like uh, uh, executives management of own organizations or some independent testing companies so that they can uh, utilize use and suggest our changes give us a report or we can create a event when we offer 10 to 15 product give to the winners of that event and we take their sign or we take their consent that they will give their feedback of this product within the 10 days 20 days or 15 if their feedbacks were selected by the management they will be rewarded because without reward they will not be serious about your product so this is the segment next iteration means you start developing you decide it that what kind of the things you need to implement on the variant or something like this. initiate the product defined requirements you 
get all the things and this is the development cycle add functionality feature and at every step each and every step when you are implementing the functionality one testing team is also testing product each and every when your product is completed as a product manager you forget now you think like you are a user and your entire team behave like a user and start reviewing it that whatever you receive at this position you cross check one by one including speed whatever the criteria you were decided and after that you will share your feedback if you find that all the feedbacks are positive there is no any problem then you can release it on the market or if you think that okay my team did all well let's one again take a demo test then you can again utilize the things that earlier you give that product to bunch of people and ask them for their review and feedback so that on the basis of that you can decide that what is the exact criteria so this is actually agile model why this is um, go to the agile because in agile we break entire process in different different segments like this is the entire process that is the outside circle but we divide like approval record and incorporate changes adjust and tracking next iteration even this is the development cycle but still be giving three point of testing then review feedback approval yes and so agile model is break a a uh, big event into some small small parts so this is the very important now if your company is making software development product like uh, it related those run over the laptop or mobile phone then what you need to do from where you start you can see this entire thing you can then you imagine that uh, from where you start okay let me first of all you got a vision that we should have a product you think start thinking then you read or write some user story that how the people will utilize it what kind of the benefits and features a user get so you can product back you start saying about the product that what exactly existing products are missing because none of the product is very new it's some or somehow variant is already in the market so instead of start from the scratch you need to select the point that existing product having these these backlogs like uh, in earlier time the atm machine was not give us money without the debit card but some um, banking people were thinking that we can collaborate banking system with the mobile number so that a person can take money with the help of mobile number and one time password so they collected this kind of the points because innovative is a recurring process it's never ending no one say that yes this is enough given vehicles aeroplane everything innovation is continuous 
selected product backlog you have selected that three now you start discussing with your team discussing with the team find their idea and decide it is this the new feature functionality or the enhancement because sometimes a new feature can be an enhancement or a complete function so on the basis of this you decide uh, let me take a very suitable example suppose uh, there is a ticketing system there is a ticketing system uh, that company is making for the bus means you can open the website and log in with your account and find that you can book a ticket but you really not know where you get seat it is totally depend on the internal system randomly they will allocate you seat if you are a single person then there is no need but if you are three to four people then what you want you want to sit together but you have no choice and journey is compulsory so you share your feedback with the companies that i want so to implement this is actually not a new functionality it is the enhancement it is the enhancement <clears throat> but if you want uh, association of any other vehicle where people are going to stay means if your bus is from a to z then now people want to visit local area with a car or taxi so you should have another application where car booking is available and then you merge so that the timing can be met the day can be met so this is the new function so it's totally depend on the team that how they are thinking <clears throat> that is this a new feature or new functionality once it is developed spring review retrospective means again uh, thoroughly check each and every point that what we want it if you find that everything is fine then you can launch it otherwise we again come to this and this area is again so this is mainly uh, utilized for the um, product development in the software solution so i think this uh, product management is clear to all of you as per my knowledge based on the product management i deliver you you will find a lot of tutorials about the product management they stress the theory they explain a lot but the basic theory is that basic theory is only this if you are able to understand these six point then you become a very good honest and strong will power product man so have a great thank you keep in touch so that you can know a lot of new new things have a great